Today we're at the offices of the Arab League and we are very excited for Enigma's Menwi Azmar issue. We have secured an absolute exclusive with His Excellency Amr Musa. So let's catch up with Yasmin and find out how it goes. Good morning, and welcome to the Arab League. Thank you. My pleasure. You've been described as one of the most prominent Arab diplomats in recent years and the most public, effective public official to present the Arab view to the Western world. To what do you attribute your success? Well, thank you. First of all, thank you very much for the compliment. Uh, but answering the question in general terms, uh, I don't do anything except if I am I do believe in what I'm doing. If I don't believe in what I'm doing, I don't perform well. To succeed in anything, you need to believe in what you're doing. Give us a snapshot of your life story. How did you get to the top post of the Egyptian foreign ministry and stay there for 10 years? Well, I, I, I really don't know. I was not uh, working within a certain uh, group uh, that uh, promote uh, its members to, so for such posts. I still believe and I always believe that there is something good in Egypt. It has not been lost. If you work and work hard, you will succeed in assuming higher uh, responsibilities. And what, uh, what major challenges did you face as a minister? A lot, a lot. But certainly less than uh, in other places because I worked in that establishment, mm -hmm. in that institution for so many years, and I knew it from within, in addition to the fact that I worked in the United Nations for so many years too. Therefore, the international agenda, the regional agenda, the Arab agenda, the major causes, uh, I lived them, not only worked uh, or, or, or studied or followed, but I lived them. From the very first week or, or two weeks, I changed the whole system in the ministry, totally, as if we start from scratch. and that gave a, a push for not only the ministry but the diplomats themselves. They found themselves in a, uh, in a different atmosphere. Doors have been opened, windows have been opened. It created a new atmosphere, I must say, a very, uh, a new dynamics in the, uh, in the uh, Egyptian diplomacy and foreign ministry. I was so happy that on daily basis more than 100 persons were leading the work in the foreign ministry in Cairo in addition to the embassies and missions abroad. That's great. And how do the challenges you face today as Secretary General differ? Well, this is a different establishment altogether. There and as a foreign minister of Egypt or of any country, you are presiding over an institution that is committed to certain policies, certain interests, well defined. And there is a hierarchy, there is the president, there is the prime minister, there is the foreign minister, other ministers, etc. But here you have 22 countries with different interests. So the post of the secretary general has to deal with all that and to coordinate and try to calm down this diplomacy and to promote the, uh, the uh, or, or to, to activate another one and to bring them together and then to offer a compromise, suggest a compromise, and then to build a compromise, uh, and then to put teeth to this compromise, and so on. So this is, we are the Secretary General of an organization like this, a regional organization like the Arab League, uh, has a different task than a minister or a foreign minister or a prime minister, but he is generally a coordinator. I know the files, I know the, 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 the intricacies of what uh, uh, we are facing. So I contribute not only through coordination but through ideas and also stands I take. In my opinion I do that trying to help and trying to service the Arab common interests.